hit them back there. My windows are so dang dirty from the truck just sitting under these trees. See them back there following me. I'm going to drop the van off at Honda for some maintenance. Get the drive belt, you know, the timing and all that done. Water pump, transmission flushed, refilled. And we're going to be riding around this truck all packed in again. So, it's fine. I'm going to wash up in this thing. Maybe they're going to detail a car for us when they're done. <clears throat> Let me see the guy said come over here and oh okay so we drive up in there car wash. Cool. And we're getting a new tensioner, so hopefully all that noise will stop. New belt. Transmission's gonna have new fluid in it. Oh yes. There is no more Oh scooting. my god. So we dropped the van off and uh it's raining. And uh, Holly's been inside making some candles. And I decided to clean out this birdhouse. This is actually a birdhouse that me and Holly did kind of an experiment with. As you can see, the roofs are finished. And the rest is not. Just to kind of see what the weather would do to it unfinished and with the finish. As you can see the finish still looks brand new and just an estimate just kind of a guess this has been out in the weather you know I don't know two years so you can really see I know I had someone say like the birdhouse is so beautiful that she's scared to put it outside well just finished I mean it it will look brand new for a long time so what I'm gonna do after after two years is I'm gonna attempt to get these screws out you can see every other side has screws every other side has dowel rods so every other side I have screws so you can remove every other roof for cleaning. So I'm going to see if I can get the roofs off and the bottoms off and clean this thing out. Um, this is actually the one that you've seen in one of my videos where I was showing you the, uh, <clears throat> the bees inside of it. The yellow jackets and the wasp. wasp. This is an, is, is an experiment. I want to see if I can take these roofs off, clean it out. Um, I think it was my uncle that makes a lot of bird houses, or my aunt. Uh, I think he said to clean it out with Lysol, wipe it out real good, and put it back together. And he said the birds will use it again as long as you use Lysol. So I need some Lysol. But, uh, take all the roofs off um, I'm gonna leave the finish on how the roofs are but I think I'm gonna sand the sides re put some finish on the sides and the bottoms I'm gonna sand the bottoms because I didn't put finish on those either 
So you can kind of see what the weather has done to those. So this is just going to be a little experiment. And uh, just to see if I can get these screws out after two years of being weathered. I don't do, I don't make it as nice for my own. I only make them super nice when I sell them. But uh, let's see if we can get these roofs off. when I want to put it together so I'm probably gonna have to number them as I take it apart so I know which ones go back in place mm. that's awesome though I gotta say those gold screws hold up pretty good I guess they're brass that's good for two years This one you can tell I kind of cut it a little higher. The ones that I usually make to sell, they're actually way closer. This one I just kind of, I like character. I like giving things like an artistic character look. So I just kind of cut it a little further out. There's some spider web in there. So I'm probably gonna sand the inside a little bit also. And there's no nest in this one, just spider webs. Spider nest, I guess. Get off me. Sticky. Strip the uh, the heads out. They're not looking very great already. So I don't want to strip them out and end up having to break a, a roof to get it off. End up having to replace it. make them sell I also number the roofs that way oh I wrote it in pencil number two and the number two on this side is gone no longer there so definitely gonna have to label these things there's a pen so I'm just gonna write number two right there number two and I had some Lysol. Oh wow, I only got some 
dirt divers in it. Check that out. Dang dirt diver nest. Still got some eggs in it. This one, number three, really nothing else in there. The drain hole is a little clogged up, I'm at the dirt diver stuff in there too i'm not sure if everybody calls them that that's what i've always called them dirt divers but uh it's pretty gross cool at the same time but it's that part where you can see it in there it's kind of like all i guess babies or a nest that was gonna hatch but never did <laughs> Nothing in that one. And this one should be number one. Oh, so there's nothing in that one at all. Some spider webs.
these just some hooks where we had stuff hanging off the bottom of it. Kind of a holly thing there. This one, usually I glue these on, but I don't put screws behind it. This one, I just kind of added it on. It wasn't really, I didn't glue it on, I just kind of screwed it on. So I wasn't worried about the screws behind it. So I'm gonna have to take this off to get to them two screws. And I'm using a drill for this one. Cause these things are long, so. This one, these two are definitely pretty messy. This one's got like a big ball in it. Look at that. Huh. That's pretty wild. So I'm definitely gonna have to clean all this out real good. Spray it with some Lysol, wipe it out real good. Get it all fresh and clean for the birds. And sand all this stuff, clean it all up. You can definitely see the difference in <clears throat> using the finish. Look at that finish, still shiny after years of being out in the weather compared to without it. So, wow, some good stuff. Bird houses are pretty expensive, but they last for years. I'm gonna clean this up, put some new screws in it, put it back together leave it outside for a couple more years but I'm actually going to sand some of this unfinished stuff too I'm gonna try to sand some of this best I can it's gonna be hard to get to some of these spots because you know the roofs are in the way and I can't take them off because I covered the screws with dowel rods but I'm gonna sand it the best I can sand all this stuff put it back together and then I'm putting this finish on the whole thing and Put it out for a couple more years probably before I clean it as long as the dang the bees will leave leave it alone it's all right with the birds you can leave it out for a couple years because the birds usually they only use like one room at a time so one year they could use one room next you know next year they use another room they'll 
and as you can see birds have used it and it's like they clean it out you know there's no nest in there it's like the the bees are the only messy ones that leave a mess in there so the birds will actually clean it out I'm gonna clean it out I'll show you once I get it done and put it outside I kind of wished I would have made a video doing my lean-to that's why I was telling Holly like man I should have just recorded it but sometimes I just get a idea in my head and I run with it but it's doing good in the rain it's raining golf carts all dry not a spot of water on it lawnmowers are dry Tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be raining again. We're gonna go pick up the van. And uh, we have some, some dumpster diving ideas. I'm thinking about going to a new spot, an actual vacation spot. So I ain't gonna say anything right now, but you'll see. It's coming up soon. See y'all later.